I'm going to show you how to set out an installed post for a pony fence. You'll need a tape measure, a hammer, a set square, pencil, some string line, your safety gear, nails, level, spade, hose, concrete and post. The first thing I need to show you is how to lay a string line. To run a string line you need to attach it to a nail. In this case we've driven it into the mortar in the wall and we're going to just tie off the string line now. Now that I've fixed that string line off, I'm going to run it out to a fixing point at the other end where I want the fence to finish. The next thing I need to do is to measure the distance I want the fence to be. I need to measure the distance so that I can span the posts evenly and not overspan the timbers. I've now measured and I've calculated my spacing for the posts, so I now need to dig the holes. They need to be deep enough to keep the posts stable. In this case, we don't want to attach the post to this brick wall, so we're just going to come in a little bit for our first post and when we attach the palings, we'll just have a little bit of overhang. Even spacings and the correct depth are really important. Now that I've dug the first hole, I'm just going to continue along the process, evenly spacing the holes for the posts. Make sure you take the measurements from the centre of your first hole and you follow along the string line. To make sure I get these measurements accurate, I'm just going to get my friend Luke to come in and hold the end of the tape measure for me so I can space them nice and evenly. Keep measuring and digging now for the full length of the fence. Remember before you dig to check with the relevant authorities to make sure that you're not digging where there may be pipes, wires or underground surfaces. Now that I've dug the holes, I need to put the posts in those holes. I need to make sure that they're centred, level and straight. Now that the post is plumb, straight and against the string line, I can concrete it in. Just follow the instructions on the bag. This one's fairly simple, it's just concrete and water. Now we're just going to fill the hole with concrete to just below the soil surface. Now we're just going to repeat that process for the remainder of the posts along the fence line. Now that we've filled our holes with concrete, we're just going to backfill them with soil. Now that we've backfilled the holes with soil, we'll just compact it. We're now going to backfill the rest of the holes and wait for the concrete to dry before continuing with the rest of the fence. And that's how you set out the posts for a paling fence.